Hey, what's up guys? Tyler here and I got a long question from my man Lou Martinez. And Lou, Lou wants to know I'm really lean now and can see my six pack. With that said, I have two questions. How can I continue to build my abs and the rest of my body without getting fat again? And I still have more natural genetic potential but don't want to bulk up, which most people say I have to do to build muscle because that will just get me fat again. So it sounds like what Lou's trying to do is twofold. He wants to build overall body muscle and he wants to really make his abs pop, all right? So you've got the six pack abs, you probably got some cuts. If you want to add some of that three dimensional hypertrophy effect to your abs, then you're going to want to do some type of training that builds strength specifically in the abdominal muscles. Now the abdominal muscles are posture muscles. They support you all day long. I'm standing right here. I cannot stand without my abdominal muscles firing. And if a muscle has to constantly be worked, that means generally speaking for hypertrophy to occur, for muscle growth to occur, then what I need to do is I need to do a higher volume approach. Now that doesn't mean you shouldn't be focused on progressing in strength, it just means you have to do a little bit more reps, a little bit more time hold. So my favorite approach to training the abs is to follow a gymnastic movement progression, okay? If you look at gymnasts, these guys have abs that pop like no one else, okay? And how do they do that? They focus on consistently making the exercises harder, but building more and more volume. I'll give you a simple example of this real quick. So an example would be, let's say you're doing a lying leg raise. So you're on your back, your hands are under your butt, and you're just going legs up and down like that, right? You would do lying leg raises until, say, you could get two sets of 25 or, or 50 or four sets of 25. So a total volume of 100 reps. Once you got a total volume of 100 reps, then you would switch to something more challenging like V-ups. Now V-ups are where you go hands all the way to toes on every single rep. So you're reaching up hands to toes on every single rep and you're balancing on your tailbone so your body makes a V-shape. Once you can do, say, four sets of 25 reps of the V-up, then you might go to the hanging leg raise where you're hanging from a bar and you go toes to bar on every single rep. Now once you can go four sets of 25 with that, you can start doing a ceiling stomp. And to give you a visual of a ceiling stomp, that's where you bring your toes to the bar and then you pull down with your arms and you bring your feet all the way towards the ceiling. So you're in an inverted position with your body straight. So it's almost like you bring your toes to the bar in a leg raise and you think about just stomping the ceiling by pressing your feet towards the sky. Once you can do four sets of 25 ceiling stomps, uh, you're gonna be strong, man. And you can start working on things like front lever pulls, things like that after you can do those exercises. So that's what I would do. I'd follow a gymnastic movement progression and also focus on volume approach. So four sets of 25, Two sets of 50, once you nail that, just make the exercise harder and keep working on that, okay? That'll keep you busy for at least a year or two with your ab training, okay? Now the next part of the question, you wanna gain muscular size, but you don't wanna gain, you don't wanna bulk up, all right? And so since you're already lean, what I would recommend you do is continue eating the same way you're eating. The only thing I would alter would be to increase your protein consumption. Okay? The reason for that is oftentimes when people are very lean and they want to gain muscular mass, they're not consuming enough protein to allow their body to gain that muscular mass. So, <coughs> excuse me, you don't have to eat any more carbohydrates or fat, just increase the protein a little bit. Now from there, center your training around the basic exercises and get as strong as possible as you can in those exercises. So what that means is you focus on deadlifts, squats, bench presses, rows, pull-ups, overhead presses, and some core work, which we already just talked about. Center your training around that. Pick a rep scheme that you want to go with. Doesn't matter if it's three sets of 10 or five sets of five. Pick a rep scheme, and then all you want to do is get as strong as you possibly can on those core exercises, which means adding weight to the bar, adding weight to a weight belt on the dips or the pull-ups, and keep it going strong, okay? That's all you gotta do. If you get stronger, your body will change. I've never met somebody who could back squat double body weight that didn't have great legs. I've never met somebody who can do a pull-up with half their body weight hanging around their waist who didn't have great upper body, arms, lats, everything like that, okay? So that's what I'm trying to get at. Follow those basic principles right there, and you will get the body you want, all right? If you guys dig this video, like it, leave a comment below, let me know what you think. Otherwise, you can ask me any question you want. I'm gonna make a video just like this for you so you can learn how to look, feel, and perform your best. Thanks for watching.